In today's hustle and bustle world, it's not uncommon to look for alternative ways to save time and money. CTP offers a convenient and economical option with our Conrod kits. CTP pre-assembles the Conrod kits with the piston, the rings, the connecting rod, and liner as a complete unit, cutting overhaul time by as much as 25%. This video will demonstrate how to properly install a CTP Conrod kit. The technician removes all the parts included in the kit, carefully laying them out, ensuring that the parts are complete, clean, and ready for assembly. Included in the kit are three special liner seals, a green top seal, an orange middle seal, and a blue bottom seal. It is important to understand that petroleum-based lubricants should not be used on these seals, as this could cause the seals to swell and become soft. The seals can then be easily damaged during installation. The technician lubricates the seals with a soapy solution. We recommend the use of a 50-50 water and dishwashing soap solution as an ideal lubricant. Working with the liner upside down on a flat surface, the technician begins installing each of the seals. The first seal installed will be the top or green seal, followed by the orange middle seal, and finally the blue bottom seal, and making sure that the seals are not twisted once installed. The seal set also includes a band seal, this seal goes on a special wide groove just under the liner flange. The technician applies a generous amount of engine assembly lubricant to the band seal. The sealing bands swell and expand after coming into contact with the petroleum lubricant. This is purposely designed in order to form a tight seal on the block. Therefore, the lubricant should only be applied just prior to inserting the liner into the cylinder block. The technician now slides the band seal over the whole assembly. Being careful not to overstretch the band, the band is installed on the wide band seal groove. The connecting rod cap bolts are loosened and the cap is removed. The bearings will be installed next. The technician carefully removes the bearings from the package. The working surface of the bearings are very soft and can easily be scratched and damaged if not handled properly. The two half bearings are identical and therefore can be installed on the cap or on the connecting rod. The technician installs the first half on the cap Notice that these bearings do not have any lubricating holes. The lubrication comes from the oil passages built in the crankshaft. Here the technician is pointing out the bearing tang. The connecting rod has a small groove to accept this tang. The purpose of the bearing tang is to prevent the bearing from rotating inside the bearing bore. The technician applies a generous amount of engine assembly lube and the connecting rod bearing surfaces. We will now rotate the engine block. Normally, a conrod would be assembled on an engine that sits inside the frame, that is, with the block deck in the up position or horizontal. For this video, to better illustrate the assembly process, we chose to do the assembly in the vertical position. We apply lubricant to the upper band seal area on the block. The technician starts to insert the connecting rod assembly into the engine block. From the opposite end, a second technician guides the connecting rod carefully onto the crankshaft to prevent damage to the rod journal bearing surface. The connecting rod cap is installed and is hand tightened. When tightening the bolts, it is a must to alternate between the two bolts to properly and evenly set the cap to the rod. Before applying the final factory recommended torque, we rotate the assembly to check for binding and to make sure the assembly rotates freely. Using a torque wrench, we apply the recommended torque which is completed in two steps. In step one, we apply 52 foot-pounds of torque. And in step two, we want to mark the position of the bolt head by applying a dab of paint to the bolt head and a dab to the cap. We will be turning the bolt an additional 60 degrees, or one flat. Being that the bolt head is a hexagon, one flat equals 60 degrees. Using the torque wrench, we turn the bolt the additional 60 degrees in several steps making sure to alternate between bolts. This completes our Conrad kit installation. 